Hey guys, it's Crypsis Aaron. and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to get villages with custom trading options. So as you can see in my inventory, I've got a bunch of stuff which I am going to trade to the villagers in, um, in return for sorted things that I have chosen. <coughs> Alright, so let's press this button and summon our first villager. So uh, as you can see, I've summoned the villager with the name Coal Squasher slash Enchanter slash Gardener. Alright, so if I... Uh, go ahead and right click you can see the first one is dirt for a grass block and so I'll put my block of dirt in there get my grass block alright the next trading option is two pieces of coal for a diamond so yeah the next one is a diamond sword for a diamond sword with sharpness 10 knockback 5 and fire aspect 10 and um, last but not least, we'll have a leather tunic for Madmaker's shirt, which is a dyed leather tunic with protection 10, unbreaking 10, and um, some custom lore. Alright. Um, you can also use this to do some pretty, um, well, well, I'll just say stupid stuff, like an even more useless villager. This is just a villager without any trading options at all, which is... I'm just making that a little bit more annoying. And um, uh, if you want to make a custom shop in a map or something, then you can you can do it with a villager and uh, one of these commands. All right. So as you can see, I've got some gold nuggets, and up here, it's one gold or one gold nugget, or as is there named gold for a stick. So <coughs> I'll just get my stick. Next, we have three. Or a knockback stick with so that's just a stick with knockback five and named knockback stick. Then we have five gold for a wooden sword. Then it's um ten gold for a gold sword. Fifteen uh, for a stone sword. All right. 25 for an iron. Oh, whoops, I didn't buy that one. Oh. My bad. Alright, 50 for a diamond sword. And then I've got 40 for a sharp iron sword. So that's a named iron sword with sharpness 5. Um. Uh, so that's 60 for a sharp diamond sword, which is just like the iron sword, but diamond. Um, and let's see, I was up to mad make a sword. Now, oh, whoops, just threw my gold in there. I'll just get some more gold. Alright, so we were up to here, mad make a sword. And as you can see, we've got two slots where you can pay, so 60 there. And 40 there equals 100. And then I have Mad Baker's sword. All right, now we have a bow. Fifteen gold, sixty-four arrows for five, and this uh, incredible bow, which is a Mad Maker's bow, which is a name bow with um, four enchantments and custom lore, for eighty gold. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do this. And um, this was a bit difficult to break down, so. It's just kind of like adding a new bit of the command on in each command block. So, the first bit is just summoning the villager and then coordinates. So then summoning villager coordinates offers a colon and then and another set of curly brackets recipes colon square bracket and then another set of curly brackets for your first recipe. Now I haven't filled that in yet and that's what... Uh, so this will just add um, a bit of the recipe. Alright, so, summon villager, uh, coordinates, offers, recipes, and then, um, as you can see, in the set of curly brackets we had in the last one, I've put by, colon, another set of curly brackets, id3, count 1. So that's, um, saying, in order to get what the villager has to offer, you have to pay, um, one block with the id of 3, which is the dirt block. So this is, um, like the one we uh, traded a dirt block, dirt block for a grass block. Alright, so then um, in this one, by B is the new tag. 
followed by colon and then it's just like the last one except this is for the second um payment thing as you saw with mad maker sword and uh mad maker's bow and um you can't summon one that has buy information but not sell information otherwise your minecraft will probably crash yeah so in this one we've got the sell information which is id 2 count 1 so selling a block id of uh, 2 which is a grass block and count 1 so one of those so here we have the villager two dirt blocks for a grass block so yep Alright, the next command added is max uses uh, one. So that's saying you can only use this one time. Alright, so I get it myself across block and I can't do it again. Alright, and the last one we'll add is just uses uh, zero. So that's just basically how many times it's already been used and since it's zero that means you can do it one time what happened maybe no all right so i seem to have stuffed up that one but i can assure i can assure you that it um it does work so yeah i uh, hope you enjoyed Thanks for watching, if you like this video like and subscribe, and that's all.